I'm Catherine Walsh and I'm a striker. I'm Hannah Power and I'm a centre back. I'm Zoe Atkins and I'm a forward. I'm Megan Bowen and I'm a centre back. Play for Cardiff, it means a lot. Obviously, I've been here for give and take over 10 years now. I obviously went away and I came back and obviously I couldn't see myself anywhere else. I've grown up in Cardiff. I've gone and supported the men's team all my life. So to be able to wear that badge, I have so much pride wearing it and it just means everything. I don't think you can even put it into words. Absolutely everything at this point of the season. My career it is everything. It has pride playing for this club every time you put the t-shirt on, it means a lot. Um, I know it's not only for me, but for the whole team as well. Cardiff City women against Abergavenny women at Cardiff City Stadium under the lights in front of over 5,000 spectators. We've been talking about this one for a while. It's going to be special, isn't it? To have 5,000 people in the stadium is just incredible. That's a lovely use of the body and turn away there from Phoebe Poole. And now she can drive to the right-hand side of the box. Early ball can only get there. She can't get the touch. Scores the goal! Early marker for Cardiff City. It's Green with a crossing opportunity to the far post. Not a bad ball. In fact, it's a great ball. I didn't think Poole was going to reach that. But she elevated herself. Fantastic header. And with nine minutes gone, Cardiff City have a 2-0 lead. Phoebe Pool is in on the act. Yes, Dad, go on, go on, go on. Great work by Broadhurst, who turns it to Green. Green looking to pick out a cross. Keeps going, maybe she fancies one for herself. Green trying to work the angle. Can she get the shot away? She can! What a goal! I mean, it's one of the best, definitely one of the best football experiences I've ever had. Seeing all the, the players really emotional and the fans really enjoying the game and just having 5,175 fans watching our team is incredible and we're just so thankful. Again, I haven't got the words to describe it, it's still for, surreal. Um, it's crazy to think I have to go back into school tomorrow, but it was incredible for the girls, for women's football in Wales as well, and hopefully we can continue to keep seeing these numbers at our home games and games across the Adrian League. We could see on their faces as soon as we went over there, they were just so excited. It's amazing our sponsors have got involved and it showed like how much work going into the women's football and it's getting bigger and better and I'm just so excited for it. The women's game's growing and there's so much interest in it and I think, you know, we, out of them 5,000 people there, I think probably 3,500 young boys and girls and I hope we inspired them. I hope that they want to come and watch us again on a Sunday and I hope that other everyone who attended goes and watches their local team. It's not just about us, we want to inspire boys and girls and families to go and watch the grassroots game, to go and support their women's team, go and support their club because they really need it. And if we do that collectively, the women's game will grow across the whole of, uh, of Wales. There's been loads of amazing moments this season. You know, our stadium game, playing in front of all those fans was amazing. But for me, the moment of the season had to be playing that ball over the top of Swansea's defence and Phoebe equalised in the 97th minute. I think that was such a big game for us. So. That was definitely a really big moment for me this season. My moment of the season, I mean, there's been a lot, but it'd probably be both stadium games. One in the stadium, it was like a big event for us and everyone coming to support was really big. And Swansea away was a really big moment for me. With, um, scoring that goal to make a draw, that was a big moment. There's a lot of moments in the season I've been proud of. I think my goal against Ponty is probably my favourite moment, um, just because my first goal for the club and that game was very tight with regards to we didn't create as many chances as we wanted to and I, I think that goal came at a crucial time.
started well and I think I just think at the day we, we were second to all the second balls. We didn't bring the intensity that we usually play. We didn't look after the ball we usually did. And we got into a game of transitions where the ball was just going forward and back. It was like a game of basketball at times and we don't want it to be that because it allows the opposition moments. And I think that's what Cardiff Met had on the weekend was moments. We still had a lot of good opportunities. We still had a great chance to win the game. But yeah, we were just off it on the weekend and I think a lot of things didn't go for us the way they have this season. But we take it on the chin and we move on to this week. You know, we had a good honest chat as a group, but we know what we're playing for for the rest of the season. We've got the league to play for, uh, we've got the FAW Cup to play for, so we haven't got time to feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to move on and we've got to be prepared for this weekend and we are. Yeah, it's been a great season for us. You know, it's, it's been a real challenging season. Uh, we've managed to go large parts of it unbeaten, and we've been we played a good, attractive brand of football, won a lot of games, um, and got far into two cups. And like I said, at the moment we're seven points clear at the top of the league, so it couldn't have gone much better for now. The first couple of games, just to get off to the start that we did, playing a really tough opposition was great. I mean, we didn't concede a goal for I think it was six games, um, so we were on a great run. And then we had the, the water bath against Barry where the game should have been called off and we scored in the 89th minute to make it 1-0. Really, really great highlight. Um, and yeah, and I think then we've had some really great comebacks along the way. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's the highlight for us now is going on to win silverware. All right. Well, this squad's been built over the past two, two and a half years. I think, you know, we've addressed certain areas that we needed to address. We've brought in players that... When we look for a player, we don't just look how good they are, we look at what personality do they have, do they know any of the players in the group, get a bit of a report on them from that respect, and then we decide, okay, well, are they the right person to bring into our environment? And I think that's had a real big impact on us high. this season. Last season, definitely. This season, 100%. The players that we brought in have had a huge impact in the squad and settled in straight away, and that's exactly what you need. It'd be amazing. You know, the league would be incredible. We haven't won the league for 10 years. And I think with this group of players and the position we're in, we really should do. Um, so it would just be about closing that out now and I think that would be the best feeling. Better than you know, The Cups are great, I love the FAW Cup. Um, you know, we won it last year, I, I, I'd like to think that we've got a good chance of winning it this year. But the league's a big one, you want to be able to, pr to produce week in week out over the course of the season, nothing feels better than that. Well I've been watching Champions League since I was a kid so I think um, the dream is, you always look at it and think oh I'd love to do that one day. You know, and I think the Women's Champions League is, is just as important to me. I think. You know, it's an opportunity to play in Europe and play against teams that are professional, have been professional for years, you know, put yourself against other coaches and just experience something that not many people get to experience. So it'd be a real privilege for me and I know it's something as a, as a coaching staff and as a playing staff that we're really, really excited to potentially do. Figuratively speaking, if they don't press the back three, okay, keep it, but then you're looking for that gap. And when you find the gap, then you go. We've spoken about it all week in training. We had really honest conversations about what we need to do to get back to our best. And we set ourselves challenges, you know, and we've given people opportunities. I thought people like Eliza and, and Manon, who didn't play last week, uh, I think Eliza had five minutes, Manon didn't play, they came in today. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable performance. And, and they should be so proud of themselves. But then the rest of the girls who did play have, have found that extra gear. And like I said, we had that wake, wake up call, but we're just so proud of the team today and proud of everything they've, they've accomplished. Winning the league from where we've been in the past to where we are now, 
would be nothing, it, it, there's nothing to really put into words for it. But we've got to do it. And we learned from last week that you can't get ahead of yourself. And we've still got to go and get three points from the next three games. Um, and we'll be hoping to do that next week. Uh, and that's, that'll be our target then. We'll be focused all week in training. But we won't lose sight of the fact that we need to perform well. And that's the main thing next week. It's been such a long time coming. We haven't won it for 10 years. There's been so many of us who've been through roller coasters here up and down. So it'd just be amazing just to, to win the league and have that, that glory moment. There's players here like myself who've been here for 10 years and we've worked so hard for this over the years and we've just come up short. So I think it would mean everything. It'd top off all the years we've been here, all the hard work. It means so much to win the league, being here for um, a few years now and not having done it yet, it would mean so much and everyone's worked so hard so I hope that we can achieve that. Um, absolutely everything, it'd been a lot to me, my family is a Cardiff City supporter. Uh, it would just show the hard work pays off and credit to us girls because some of them are full-time jobs and they've come here and we're playing really good football at the moment. It'd mean everything I think, not only for me but for the team as a whole I think. We deserve it at the end of the day, we've worked so hard this season from the first game against Ponty to the final game against Swansea, we will, we will keep pushing and I think we deserve it. We've shown we are the best team in the league. long time coming. The last 10 years have been very, very much like hard work, ups and downs, but to win it now 10 years later, it's the most amazing feeling ever. I'm so proud of us all. Yeah, and we've all stuck together and obviously it makes it worthwhile because you go through the ups and the downs together and these girls here, they're our best mates, we're all best mates and it makes it even worthwhile that we've done it together and we've, we've stuck around for 10 years and yeah, it's amazing. It's something we've obviously aimed for for a long time and uh, we've worked really hard to get to today and we really deserved it, I think. We've put a lot in place to, and, and built a successful group, but we've had to go and improve it week in, week out, and we've done that this season, and I'm just so proud of the players and the staff and, and the people behind the scenes. I just think, as a club, we're in such a fantastic place. It just shows like all the work that we're putting in behind the scene, like all the adjustments we've made with training, everything, I think, as a team. We're just fighting every match. We know we believe in each other, that we can win the games. So, yeah, I think we really deserve it. Last time we won it, I think we were training once a week. Now we're training three times a week. The support and the backing from the club is even more. And I think we, when we won it last time, the league wasn't as competitive as it is now. So it means so much no, more winning win, it now. We win like 12 what, nil every week. <laughs> and yeah. stuff like that. So we it probably, has come on. Yeah, we've probably chosen the most the highest standard of years to win the league so it just shows how much we've improved and how good we are as a team we're like a family and that just shows on the pitch yeah.
genuinely not joking when I said that I believe we could go the whole season unbeaten. Um, you could see that there was a lot building in the squad and there was a lot of developing in certain players. And I think that's come to come to the front this season. So, listen, we're, we're proud of what we've done. We've won the title, that's the most important thing. This has been in the making for two and a half, three years. You know, we knew where we wanted to be. It's been a slow process, um, but we've rebuilt the football club. And it was for days like today. You know, we knew we had a good chance of winning the league this year. We had a great group. We changed a few things, tried to be different to everybody else, and it's worked. And to go a whole season unbeaten, I think, in this league, with how competitive it is, with the great players that play for other clubs, and a lot of clubs really building, like your TNSs, obviously if you're Cardiff Met Swansea's. There's all so many teams building now that you know we can be proud of what we've done. Um, we'll celebrate tonight, and then we're going to focus on a cup final next weekend.